Okay, so what this is is an 09 Mazda Tribute, and I'm hoping everybody can see the dash good enough. This sunlight is really bright. So this is the model, okay? This is what it looks like. Try to get back as far as I can so that everybody can see what this is. It's similar to a Ford Escape. Now this is an 09 model, and the problem is is that the gear shift is not properly connected to the gear shift linkage and it's just flopping around loose and nothing happens it's stuck in the same gear all the time whatever don't work so what you need to do is go buy one of these grommets it's a Dorman grommet 14073 that sucker costs 20 bucks little plastic uh, white nylon grommet with a little clip now obviously there's not one in here. I've already used it and it's repaired. I've already taken this thing apart, put it together and confirmed that it works. So what you need to do to get this sucker out is clean all this junk out of here and get this little bezel, take this little plastic bezel off, okay? Every single thing you're gonna take off of here is a tricky job, all right? So if you need to get masking tape, or uh, something to protect the plastic when you pop this up okay because the edges the edges are going to get dinged up a little bit so just be real careful okay these things have been in there for a long time all right so pop the center console open that little guy there all right and this whole thing in the middle comes it, it comes straight up before you do that you need to get this cigarette lighter thing and the way it installs, it, it goes straight in and straight out. It, it comes straight out like this, okay? And the clips on there, if you see the clips, it has those type of clips. And you'll have to unplug a couple of plugs, the cigarette lighter plug. This is what the cigarette lighter plug looks like on the left. All right? That's how it's going to go in there. Un unplug that. And unplug this little feller here, plug that in there like that. Goes right here. Alright. That's what they look like. And there's another one there and there somewhere. But anyway, so you get that little feller out of the way. It won't come out with that in there. It may, I guess you could pry it out or something, but what you'll have to do, your gear shift won't be working properly. But you'll have to get this gear shift in this lower gear. And if they don't have the battery connected, which I recommend that, you can pick, pop this little pill hole out, this little hole. You pop that out with the knife or something, and you poke your screwdriver in there or the key or whatever. And that makes it so you can shift this when you don't have any power. But this whole thing comes up like this, okay? And it is a bear. You will have to go all the way around and slowly pry, sorry, slowly pry all these edges up okay real slow real slow because it's tight and it don't want to come out but that's how it comes out like that that's the kind of clips that are in it like that all right it just slides into these little slots but man the amount of work you're going to do to get that out is amazing so the place we're at now is, is do we need to take this gear shift knob off or not? I did not take this gear shift knob off, okay? There probably is a way to do that, but I didn't waste any time on that. On this uh, cover, this bezel here has to come off, okay? And what we're trying to get to is we're trying to get to this shift cable here. We're trying to get to it, okay? If you look in there, which I can't see from where we're at, you'll see that the end of it goes up in there. All right, so anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in hurry, and you're gonna start popping these little clips loose so you can get it off. All right, see that? And everybody's loose, and you're like, what in the world's going on? Won't come loose. Well, you've got this light bulb right here, and you turn that like that, and that comes out like that. All right, and then, because you're not taking the gear shift off, you're only gonna get some slack out of this thing. And so you turn this thing 90 degrees and this other, this little rubber thing, you turn it any old way you want, it don't matter. What you're trying to do is you're just trying to get yourself some space so that you can work on that. Let me see about getting that. 
thing out of the way under there. If you haven't noticed, doing it with one hand is a tricky job. There. All right. So you get that thing turned so you can see in there. All right. See how we've got it. We've got that turn. We've got this like this. We can see. And you're going to look down in there. And you see that little white nylon grommet and it's got a little clip on the end of it okay that goes to the shift cable so that whenever you shift it that's it that's all there is to it now when yours is busted you'll open this up and look in there and that cable will be just sitting wherever it'll be flopping around wild all right and right now the way it is it's got that grommet on there and it's clicked together and, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this clip off here, right here. If I can get this set in a good spot where I can work. Right here, there's a little clip there. You push that out some like this. Alright. And this whole thing pops up. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can do it with one hand or not, but it's possible. Well, if I can do that with one hand, that's a miracle. No, nah, that ain't gonna happen. So anyway, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pop this up. And let me get it popped up. You just move this edge, this side back like this with a tool, screwdriver, a pick, or whatever, and, and pull this thing up and that releases it. See, as a matter of fact, when I get the light on it, you can see that there's a small hole there. Okay? And so you can get your tool and put it in that in that hole like this like that and pop that little that little release right there up in so it releases it okay and so that'll get your cable up you want to get that cable release and so when you you get that cable release you'll see and since I got it connected that whole thing is is connected all right all right so I'm gonna disconnect that thing real quick so I can show you the end of it okay so you're gonna want to pull this thing out a little bit so you can get to it all right you see that little there's a little crack right there a little crack in that in the body there this cable fits in that crack just perfect right here all right so if you go pulling on it and it gets in that crack it will get stuck in there and you'll start freaking out because your cable will be stuck like this too short. So what you have to do is just push it down and get it out of that crack and pull it out a little bit and get you some space. Now at this point here, see you can shift the gears on the transmission right here. See? Alright. That'll get your gear shifted. So if you need to do it, you don't have a grommet, you need to get this thing going, you can get to this point here where you could shift it yourself. Okay, now this thing is a clever little feller. So if you're gonna wanna do things, you're gonna have to put the gear shift in the corresponding gear as well. Because I think the computer is, is measuring which gear you're in by the, uh, the gear actuator uh, indicator. There's a, a multifunction switch on this and uh, so when you put it in the corresponding gear that electronically tells the computer where it's at this is the mechanical part okay and I think there's some electronic part as well on the transmission that uh, confirms it I think I don't remember but we're not too concerned about that right now we're just concerned about this grommet so yeah you just want to want to stick that grommet in there from this side okay you put it in from this side and after it goes through you put this little this little C-clip on there just click that on and that's it once you get that on there and you're gonna want to stick it back in the hole I'm gonna stick it back in here make sure you get enough slack oh, this thing is kind of a tricky thing when you so see you get it lining back up you want to give yourself some space 
on the end that so you're going to want to get you some gear out of it let's pull it out some more yeah there we go get a couple get that sucker down out quite a bit Anyway, so and then you're going to want to put this gear shift into a position where that lines up like that. Man, I ended up clicking it. So let me get my get my pliers in there and pull that thing out. There we go. Can only get so much out of that thing. Yeah, this is really difficult to do with one hand, so let me get it lined. All right, I finally got, got it close. So you wanna get it close to where it needs to be, okay, and get that thing lined up like this and grab it with some pliers. And you can push it, you can push it from the outside edge like this with your finger and get it lined up. Let me show you what it looks like from the side. There you go. You can see it from there, all right and probably push it in but I always do it with some long nose pliers like these because I like to just click it in so let's see how it looks here if I can get the camera in the right spot and get everybody a good look at how that thing looks when you click it in get a front row seat Well, I'm going to cooperate the way I like it to cooperate. But this has a lot to do with doing it with one hand. Because usually what I would do is I, was hold, I would hold it with my finger and then get it lined up and then put the pliers on it. But yeah, but that's, that's how it's going to look. But every time I take the pliers out, it wants to have a memory. And I can't get my pliers open wide enough to get it, so I'll have to hold it with my finger. But anyway, so you have the right idea. You just want to click that thing in place. So let me get it clicked. All right, so I've messed with it quite a bit. I got that thing clicked in there as good as it's going to get. So, get this old light out of the way. And then you're just going to want to stick this thing back in. Get this thing to move a little bit. And another two-handed job. A lot of this stuff is impossible to do with one hand, so... So anyway, let me get that in the right. All right, so you do just a little wiggling around and get it in the right spot and it, it cooperates. And then all this rest of this business, you're just gonna want it to slowly go back, okay? You just have to take your time with some of this stuff. It clicks back together fairly easily. Find the hole right here somewhere. It's a weird place for this, but I guess it, as long as it works. All right, so that's all that. Let's test her out. Yeah, we got dead dead battery now. Sitting here with the key on all day. So there we are. Let me get the jumper cable, so I'm going to put all this stuff back together. I hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.